And as far as is your point to people getting lost into looking at the micro instead of the big picture, um, there's an Eastern thought and there's a movement in terms of where East is meeting West in science that I think is exciting. You know, there's a saying, as goes the microcosm, so goes the macrocosm. So as we understand the smallest things, we're finding out that they're actually a mirror of the most, of, of the infinite things. So you can, if you want to study infinity, you can s study an infinite universe, or you can study the smallest thing and have that keep going into infinity and arrive at the same, similar con conclusions. So these are all the kind of themes um, that, uh, you know, take the form of different characters, which each have different points of view, you know, and even it might be science, it might be philosophy, one character is representing you know, destiny, the other <coughs> character is sort of a skeptic character, and uh, they're, you know, or another character is representing free will, and there's a whole philosophical discussion going on. That's why one of the uh, videos I have on the Writer's Journey class playlist, uh, you should watch, you'd like it. It's called uh, The Philosophy of the Matrix. And it's, uh, you know, it's like an hour and a half documentary, and it talks about all of the philosophical themes uh, that are being discussed in, you know, that the audience in general, the, your general audience is unaware of, but they are aware of why are we talking about this at the coffee shop afterwards? Why are we buying the movie when it comes out on DVD? Why are we still discussing it? It's because there's much deeper themes that have, uh, since uh, the dawn of, uh, you know, uh, at least philosophy itself, you know, uh, and Western civilization and Eastern civilization, they, they've been paradoxes and uh, questions that uh, man has been trying to answer. And, uh, and there, a lot of them are a paradox. It's not an answer. It's not right or wrong. And in many cases, you know, it's it's what it's the conclusion of uh, that an Eastern scholar, for example, would tell you that a paradox is is really it's uh, there is no light without darkness. If you're looking at fate versus free will, why does it? Why do they have to be mutually exclusive? The way they look at it is they're two sides of the same coin. This is the best explanation I've I've heard for it. 